the photographs made by the T3A camera are mounted either by the use of an adhesive or by the use of staples. The completed prints for a mosaic are matched for contrast so that a maximum degree of uniformity may be obtained in the finished mosaic. In the preparation of a mosaic, a control network is first plotted on a military grid of sufficient size for the project. These known points are obtained from existing surveys, United States geological survey sheets, road maps, or triangulation points set up especially for the project. The known points are carefully plotted and plainly marked on the grid so that the photographs may be accurately mounted. In mounting the photographs on the grid, the first step is to match the photograph for contrast and to check the scale with the photograph to which it will be adjacent. Next, trim the edge of the photograph with a razor blade, being careful just to cut through the emulsion and not all the way through the paper. Now the trimmed edge should be folded back away from the emulsion. Thus, by tearing this trimmed edge away from the operator, it will be found that a feather edge has been created on the print to be mounted. This rough edge should be smoothed with sandpaper. Thoroughly cover the back of the print with adhesive and carefully place the photograph on the mountain. Roads, streams, or wooded areas can be used to match the prints. Excess adhesive may be removed by a bone squeegee. To correct local areas on the mosaic, portions may be trimmed out of photographs which match that area and mounted in the same manner as the original photograph. The completed mosaic is delivered to the interpretation officer, who translates its images into the desired information. By the use of the stereoscope and the finished mosaic, much useful data may be obtained, such as new enemy gun positions, troop movements, new trench excavations, and camouflage. Close cooperation between the photographic unit and the interpretation officer is essential.